Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about my favorite long-term companies, my favorite blue chip companies to be more specific. So the first one um, off the bat is AMD. AMD is an American semiconductor company. Flash memories, graphics, graphic cards, processors, chips, and motherboards. They're one of the leaders in gaming industry for like PC builds and stuff like that. And then a main catalyst for this company is the semiconductor shortage, where they're just fueling this company. Um, if you are gonna uh, buy it, definitely wait for a pullback. It is a little, you know, hyped up right now. It's been on a rally, but AMD is definitely one of those big top dog companies and one of the best chip makers out there. The next one is Apple. <clears throat> Apple really needs no introduction. It is literally the most valu valuable and the most least company in the world. Its market cap is two trillion dollars. And what's really special about Apple is not only everybody uses it and stuff like that, but they have created a ecosystem. What do I mean by ecosystem? You literally have AirPods. You have an Apple Watch. You have an iPad, you have an iPhone, you have Apple TV, you have the cloud, all you have your phone, you have your, you have your Mac, you have your laptop. Of those are synced together. It's an ecosystem. You have the Apple Home, the, the you know like their version of Alexa. You literally have a whole ecosystem of Apple products, which means you can implement it in your daily life multiple different ways. It's not just a phone anymore. It's not just a screen. It's an ecosystem. Next company is a big store. My favorite big store for a stock. It's Walmart. It's one of the it's one of the biggest stores and slash most affordable stores. And they're always looking for innovation and they're always expanding. They're not standing still, not, they're not stuck in the mud. They, they are always trying to expand into other branches. They're always trying to innovate and uh, has like mo the most employees in a lot of states. And when I, the most people employed in a state, so that's pretty cool. And they have over 11,000 stores. Walmart's always going to be a company and they're actually they could be a competitor to Amazon if they start getting their online platform to more users. And the last company is Amazon. $1.7 trillion market cap. They run the biggest, the best online store. Everybody shops at Amazon. And again, like they have the ecosystem. Amazon watches, you have the Amazon basics. They sell everything from mattresses to pens to back. Everything. You have that whole line of those home pods and stuff like that, the Alexas. They're also opening up different locations, like brick and mortar stores, where you can come in, there's no cash registers, there's no employees. You take what you want and you walk out and it scans it and uh, it charges it to your Amazon account. It's like stealing, but you're not stealing. Everything is paid for. You can literally just take something, put it in your pocket and walk out. What a nice concept. Also needs no employees. And then they also have a bunch of bookstores opening up. I've, I've seen some before. But Amazon is literally the biggest online store out there with a bunch of subscriptions, but they make money from those subscriptions like Kindles, the reading, the movies, the music, same thing with Apple and Prime, of course everything is actually transitioning into online it's shying away from brick and mortar stores and it's coming more into online and amazon is so established in the online already they're just saying. thank you guys for watching today's video uh in my bio will be my discord where i put all the stocks watch lists we have analysts in there we have bots that tell you really everything about the company we can pull up graphs support resistance lines change in the day volume i have a we have a lot of stuff in there and that's really really useful and like share this video please share this video with everybody you know and then also in the description i have spice algo which is the best buy and sell indicator in the world my favorite indicator to use literally tells you when to buy and sell a stock it tells you on the different day candles when's a good time to sell when's a good time to buy it tells you on the specific candles as well it can tell you reversals too if the stock's going down it can tell you hey it's starting to come back up